Hey everybody, it's Dr. Kara of the Animal Wisdom Circle and drkaragubbins.com and I'm here with your monthly forecast and <clears throat> it's now March 2018. Can you believe it? What? Man, it's like a time spin or something. Like it's going so fast. I can't believe it's March already. So um, we're just going to look at the energy of the month, see what's going on, see what things we should be aware of, um, any lessons that might be coming up for us, all those kinds of things. And we're doing it with the Animal Wisdom Circle Oracle cards. So let's see what is happening in March. In March. Okay, so we've got our three cards. And the first is the mountain lion, and I love the mountain lion because the mountain lion is so much about integrating the, your natural instincts and intuition and your mind. So there's a lot of, <clears throat> you know what people might call polarity or duality or contrasts between intuition and intellect. But the mountain lion really embodies how we can bring our those parts of ourselves together, knowing that we can do what we're here to do. We're capable, we're powerful, and our strength comes from, from integrating all of these different aspects of ourselves. So if you're feeling like, you know, um, overly mental or overly overly emotional or um, like oh you got to be one or the other or part of you is bad or something like that just know that this is a time to be aware of how we can integrate the intellectual and the intuitive instinctive um, organic animalistic part of our nature <clears throat> so that's part of what's going on this month and then the reindeer, I love the reindeer. To me, again, the reindeer has a lot of qualities that I don't think of necessarily going together. So the reindeer is very much aware of the group and having a plan and sticking to it and knowing what you're going to do and then just doing it, but also playing. The, the reindeer says there's always time to play. So this card is really about being connected to the other people in our world. Having that plan, again, there's that mental strength of having a plan, sticking with it, and remembering that you have time to play. For me, um, this card's really speaking to me as I get ready to publish what the owl knows because I've had a plan, it's been modified, <laughs> and my tendency is to, um, I really thought I would have had this book published earlier this month and um, last month. I thought it would be early February, but it's now early March and it's still <clears throat> not quite there yet. So, so I have my plan, I'm sticking with it, and I'm not letting the plan get in the way of my daily enjoyment of life. I'm still, you know, doing my life as a priority rather than making the plan the priority, not beating myself up because I didn't make this arbitrary deadline that I had stuck in my head. So um, Reindeer really likes to have a plan, really likes to know what's happening, but also there's um, within that the ability to relax and play and have fun. And then the bear is all about cycles. So cycles are the parts of life. So um, in the Northern Hemisphere, we've got spring coming up, you know, the cycle of the seasons. So just know again that whatever's going on, it's part of a cycle. Don't worry that it's always going to be this way or there's nothing you can do about it, you know. Just kind of go with it. Stay with that flow of the energy. Know that we're moving into a new season and um, there's new opportunities. Things are going to change. Things are not staying the same. Even if you're feeling a little stuck or a little stagnant or like, you know, not really seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Just know that this too shall pass. And, you know, the other thing about the bear that really strikes me is um, his message to people, which is to stay large and open and free. And 
you know, even though nature is so much bigger and stronger than us and um, those cycles of nature and the seasons and everything are bigger than we are, within ourselves we can stay open and free and wild and strong and big. So um, just remember that that is who you are. So looking at these three cards together, March is really, um, I kind of, I'm kind of feeling like it's, it's, it could be a little bit of a roller coaster that these cards kind of represent moving through the month and um, not necessarily going together. But the thing that strikes me about all three of them is that there's some kind of duality or dichotomy or um, pieces coming together that we don't really think of as going together, following the plan, but having time to play, being intuitive, but being intellectual, the mental and the emotional, the cycles and the freedom, you know, at the mercy of the cycles, but you're still free. So there's some real duality in these cards. And I think that if we feel like we have duality in our inside ourselves, this is a good time to integrate it, to bring those things together, to know that they can coexist. And for me, this is kind of like the right brain, left brain thing. The left brain is the logic and the intellect, and the right brain is the intuitive and the emotional. And we don't, we need both. We can't have just one, then we're imbalanced. And to me, this these cards are saying the same thing. It's like we need to integrate what we see as opposites, that we can only have one or the other. We can have it all. So it's um, not either or, it's yes and. So saying yes to both. So this month is going to be really about um, coming into a new relationship with yourself and the parts of yourself and learning how to really honor and integrate all of these diverse parts of yourself that may seem to be in opposition to each other. So find that middle ground. March is about finding the middle ground and integrating those opposing parts of yourself. So um, good luck with that. No, I'm just kidding. That sounded so funny. No, seriously, like good luck. Like this is, this is part of growing into a grounded, centered, integrated being. And um, bringing this energy forward now is great awareness of that's what's going on. So just be aware of how you can stop seeing things in duality and start seeing things in terms of integration. So that's my March forecast. Have a beautiful month, and I look forward to connecting with you again next month. And come on and join us at the Animal Wisdom Circle if you want to get more in touch with animals and nature and your spirit and use the animal wisdom to help you live a better life. All right, have a great month and I will see you next month.